90% commission splits. Just got off a phone call half an hour ago. I had a real estate agent that said to me, Tom, I'm going to a new brand. This new brand is revolutionizing real estate. What they're doing is they're a business that is going to pay high commission splits. They're not going to provide um, an office. So I'll be working from home. And um, they're going to provide a lot of, you know, services like my realestate.com subscription. Um, RP data, I think he said. I think he also said that they're going to pay uh, for DocuSign and Adobe. And I think he also said that um, they're going to pay for a CRM system. And um, and actually, it was a good one. It was Agent Box, the one that I uh, I uh, I support and I rave about. So he said, "What do you think?" And I said, "Ninety uh, percent of what you're currently writing is a lot more than fifty-five percent, which you're currently on." And I said, you know, like, you don't have to be a scholar to work out you're going to be getting paid 35% more. So then the conversation went on to say, hey, I don't think I'm going to be writing as much, but I'm actually going to make more money because even though I'm not going to be writing as much, I can actually make less sales to earn the same amount of money. And I said, well, why would you be looking at things in a cost minimization than a growth maximization set of lens? And he said, what do you mean? I said, you're already sort of saying to me, you will write less money. But what you're doing at is looking at saving the cost. And he goes, what cost? I said, well, think about it. The split that you have is a cost because that comes off your commission and you pay the office for it. I said, so that's what I mean by cost minimization. I said, what you're not talking to me about is what's your growth strategy? What you're talking to me about is your cost minimization. And that's no different, no different to um, a vendor who is not looking at getting the best price, but looking at paying the lowest fee. Um, because I said, that's the same mindset, you know, it's a, you know, reduced cost mentality. And, you know, I went on to say, apart from fee, is there any other reasons why you're going over? And he said, yeah, well, the main reason I'm going over is that um, I don't like the place I'm working at. I said, okay, now we're talking. Um, I don't like the boss. And I said, why? And he explained that the boss actually says one thing and does other things. Um, the boss actually has got double standards. The boss seems to make decisions to please the people that are the loudest. The boss appears to be a bit weak and they're trying to win the popularity contest, not the leadership contest, because they're not the same thing. The point is this, it's very clear to me that the reason why people leave is not splits. The reason why people leave is because the real estate office He's got a spineless uh, uh, CEO, general manager, call them what you like, who are far more interested in actually doing the easy thing, not the right thing, which fundamentally leaves people having to have a business with double standards. When you have that, plus a culture that begins to have low trust in the organisation, plus when you have a business that then also pays you a lower fee than what you could get, 
you then make the decision. But I want to let everyone know that is seriously considering about leaving a business just because of split, rethink it, rethink it. The reason I say that is this. 90% of nothing is worse than 50% of something. And I'm not saying that you're going to get nothing if you go to a 90% business. What I'm saying to you is that you should be looking at fundamentally and integrally, how do I grow my business? How do I grow my brand? Because I can tell you, if you're a high performer, you are going to be getting a high split sooner rather than later because people that are great writers are commodities that everyone is chasing. And if you are a person that's writing numbers, you're someone that every real estate office in the marketplace is going to want. So before you go off and jump and make a decision on cost minimization, which is reducing the amount you pay to an office as your split, ask yourself the following. Is my business providing me with training? Have I got a boss that on a Sunday night, I'm looking forward to going into the office? Is the environment I'm working me working in allowing me to succeed? Do I actually feel the personality of the business is a business that makes me feel happy on the inside? Would I actually still be mates with the boss if I didn't work for him? These are the sorts of things you've got to be asking yourself. And at the end of the day, always remember what you're looking for is culture, training, mentoring, brand, technology. What you shouldn't be looking at is the highest fee in isolation. Ideally, you want the high fee and everything else. But I've got to tell you, COVID-19 has taught me that culture is something that matters because there's a lot of people sitting on what I call the pajama slope COVID couch because they don't have an environment for success. Signing off.